It's so early, but we're gonna go to Chamonix. So I'm super early for my flight. My flight to Geneva is at, I think, eight o'clock, and then I'm going to Chamonix in France. Very exciting, but I'm very tired. So, after waking up at 4am, I got the, um, got the coach to Gatwick and then a flight to Geneva, but the flight was four hours delayed. So luckily I booked uh, the coach to Chamonix from Geneva Airport for about five hours after I was meant to arrive, which sounds insane at first, when you first hear it, but I only just made it. I've got 20 minutes now to wait here until the until the coach comes. And I actually only just made it, so I guess it pays to be early sometimes. The weather, however, is beautiful. So hot. It feels like it's about 20, 25 degrees. And I'm here. I'm here with a full-on hoodie, jacket, boots, trackies. Because I thought it was going to be raining and miserable, but it's actually a it's actually really nice. And the last time I was here, I also almost missed the coach. Well, I'm gonna try and get some food when I get to Chamonix. I'll shake it like a bit. But I've been sitting down for about eight hours, nine hours to very, very much looking forward to hiking and walking around and everything like that. building works going on this wasn't there last time all right so I have no idea where to eat no idea what to do as usual not much research has gone into this I just wanted to come to somewhere with mountains now I have been here before I've been here before a good three times actually but only for a few days at a time and all I know is if I go the main town is this way. So I can just cross the road properly. Yeah, so as far as I remember, this bridge over here takes you round to the main town. So we're gonna go and explore it together. Now what I'm gonna do is start doing not as much editing on these videos because if I edit them too much it seems a bit fake almost. So what I'm going to do is uh, give you more of like a raw, genuine travel vlog so you can actually see me exploring things and you know almost like you're here as well. Wow that's beautiful though. Not the crane, <laughs> not the crane, the, uh, the mountains. Wow. It's like fresh snow at the top as well. I really love uh, French mountain towns, they're so beautiful. Oh, wow, it's a cat. I thought it was a fox for a second there. Eh? I'm gonna turn my music off because it's quite loud. There we go. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this is the way to the main town. And the idea is to go to the main town, get some food, 
and then find the hostel. However, yeah, I just want to see, I just want to see the river first before we go anywhere else. But I have a feeling, I have a feeling that I won't be able to go into the main town today because I think the hostel's actually that way and the main town's that way. And I don't really want to, I don't really want to be messing around before I've eaten really. Oh yeah, here's the river. So I'm, I'm guessing the reason that it's all brown is because it's meltwater from the mountains. Snow has melted and it brings all the earth down with it. That's my guess anyway. Okay. Right, so what I'm going to do is see where this hostel actually is before we go, before we go any further. Yeah, we're all good. It's here, so I actually have to walk through the town to get to it anyway. So, we're going to go on a little expedition, a little exploration, and see what we can find. Lovely apartments. It's still, I've still got some time, I think, today before the sun goes, and the weather's pretty good as well, so, so that's the bus station there. And then the main town is down there, and it's sort of all arranged in this valley like this, in a straight line, so it should be pretty easy to figure out where I am. Now the main, one of the main things I want to do is the Grille de Midi, which is a ski lift going up to the near Mont Blanc up there. I think that's over there anyway. And then, on another day, I'm going to go to the Green Lake. I think it's called the Green Lake. And that's all the way over there. And there's also a spa that in that direction, I think, as well. Which I want to see because the hot tub has beautiful views. And that should keep me busy for at least a few days. Once I've got used to the hostel and settled in, worked out where I actually am, where I'm staying and that sort of thing. Oh, but it looks like, now there's no way you'll be able to see this because it's a wide angle lens, but it looks like a really, a really good chair, uh, ski lift going between those two peaks. So I'm gonna have to go on that. What it might be good to do is to get like, um, uh, like a multi-day ski lift pass and that way I can I don't have to keep buying tickets every time I go on the ski lift. There we go, so that's the tourism office that way. Yeah, it's all down this way from what I remember. It seems very quiet though. I don't know why it's so quiet. So we're gonna find something to eat. Get some food then find the hostel. So it's a half an hour walk to the hostel from here. But I'm just gonna stop and get a snack, I think, because I haven't eaten since, since this morning, actually. I wonder how much apartments are in Chamonix. Almost a million. Almost a million euros. Now, last time I came here in, in the winter, up here on the right there was a small vegan hot dog stand. So that would be pretty good to find if there's that still there. One of the chances of it still being there after four years, pretty slim. But you never know. Yeah, I think it was something over here. means. Anyone in the comments know what that means? Oh, there's a load more. I don't know what all they, those mean. Well, I've decided against eating because firstly it's like 15 euros for a small piece of rice and secondly I want to try fasting today and then research where the best restaurants are tomorrow. So it's all the way down this long road. 
So it's a bit out of, out of the way, but never mind. That's what you get for booking slightly cheaper accommodation. It's a little bit out of the way. But it doesn't really matter because it's sort of all the same, you know. I mean, there's views either way, isn't there? As long as I can find somewhere to eat nearby tomorrow, that'll be it's fine. I can't decide what I'm doing today. I ended up getting some chips. But maybe tomorrow I'll get some better food. <coughs> that was a very bizarre rain cloud. It just rained hot rain for about 20 seconds and then now it stopped. I'm going to go and explore up there tomorrow. First I'm going to find this hostel. It's a bit out of the way. It's definitely not in the centre is it? Well I found it. And it's pretty much as close as you can get to the end of Chamonix as you can. That's, that sign there literally says end of Chamonix Mont Blanc. However, it looks pretty cool. Oh, they've even got a disabled access. Very, very good. Okay. All right, so this is the hostel. Not bad. Pretty good, I suppose. Very cheap. And it's sort of near nice views and things like that. 